A facility highly cloaked in secrecy is officially rubble now. Crews have demolished the last of what once was the plutonium finishing plant's vault complex. The complex was the end of the road for plutonium production that was fabricated at PFP. It held top secret stores of plutonium metal and canisters until they were shipped for weapons production. Seeing the complex demolished is bittersweet for some longtime PFP workers like Rick Wilbanks. Uh, you become very familiar and it actually becomes a part of you or you become a part of it. He has spent most of his professional life at Hanford. He was once the operations manager at the vault complex and now he's a PFP manager. Glad to be a part of both worlds, both the uh, the weapons production error and also the D&D. Tearing down the six structure vault complex encompassing around 20,000 square feet was no easy task. It took about two years. Preparation included removing highly contaminated pieces of equipment called glove boxes that allowed workers to handle nuclear materials safely when the plant was operating, as well as hundreds of feet of piping and filtration associated with purifying the air that flowed through those glove boxes. In addition, highly hazardous building security equipment was removed and dispositioned. Demolition crews cleared away about 500 truckloads of containers filled with mostly debris. PFP Closure Project Vice President Jerry Long says this task couldn't have been done without the highly skilled workforce. We've got good people and we're executing to that plan. And I can't say enough about the, the dedication and the safe work performance of the team that is PFP. This marks a major step forward in achieving the tri-party agreement milestone to demolish the plutonium finishing plant complex by 2016.